Periodically, you may choose to export your gradebook just to have a snapshot in time, such as at the end of a quarter or at the end of a semester, uh, so that you know you have a static file to refer back to. Canvas has great documentation on how to do so uh, that's located in the Canvas Instructor Guide. What I particularly would call out is just reading through the notes about what is reflected and what is not reflected in your exported file or your backup file. Uh, for example, you can see that complete or incomplete assignments are shown as full or no credit. Uh, so for example, a 10-point assignment may show as 10 or 0 uh, in a CSV file. But there are some other notes around resubmissions that you might want to take a look at. In order to do so, uh, in Canvas, you select the course that you want to export. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click Social Studies 8. Uh, select the grades. Um, in this particular case, I want to make sure that, uh, um, and then I'm going to go ahead, and that's only because I don't want students to see their own grades uh, when they watch this video. Um, but you'll see that when I click the export button, you can see the last time I exported this was today at 1.44 p.m. Uh, so when I go ahead and select current, uh, it will take a moment for Canvas to generate the file, and once it does so, um, you'll see that it begins to download into my downloads file, and then I can uh, s simply select open or open from MSXL in order to see the file.